Welcome in everyone, Ty Bartell here with another player of the game interview. This time we go to the baseball side of things with pitcher Jake Coral after his performance against Chagrin Falls as we'll pull up his stat line here. Seven innings pitch, nine Ks, four hits given up, no walks, one run allowed. It was unearned, of course. And first and foremost, Jake, let's just talk about it. Rarely do we see guys with command as sharp as yours in this early season pitching duel. What was uh, kind of working out for you, and what was the game plan that you guys had going into this one, and how did you feel you executed? Well, I mean, really, we didn't know much about Chagrin Falls. I mean, they were a late schedule. We scheduled them yesterday, I think. And uh, I was just like, all right, I'm going to go into this. I remember the last time I pitched for my high school team, and I was like, I got to be dialed in and ready to go. And so I came out. Off speed was working. Fastball was moving. I was working pretty well. Talking about that and getting into a pitcher's duel where, I mean, one run's given up on both sides for a majority of the game. Both of them are unearned. Looking at it from the offensive side of things, what are you kind of saying as being one of the leaders in that huddle, too, to your guys trying to just get them motivated and get them focused on just getting that next run to, to secure a victory? Yeah, I mean, we were going down, like, we were swinging out a lot. But, I mean, that guy was throwing pretty good for uh, Chagrin Falls. And um, we were going down swinging, though. And we had some good hits that we pieced together. And uh, eventually we were able to scrape one across and extras. But, I mean, it was tough facing that first guy. Talking about the times, too, when you guys kind of had some trouble, too. Game-winning run, got into scoring position at some times for Chagrin Falls. They had the tying run on base a couple other times before they actually tied the game. What are some things you do to kind of just reset yourself, compose yourself? Because during the broadcast, that was one thing both Mark and I uh, commented on, too, was just the composure of both pitchers. You guys never seemed uh, too, uh, too worried about the situation at hand. So what is it that you do to kind of keep yourself composed out there on the mound? I mean, really, I just try and have fun. I, like, look around, and I just try and find stuff. Like, I was looking over at the softball game a little bit. I was messing around with my teammates. I was just having fun, playing relaxed. And I knew I would be able to throw some strikes here and there. It was just I got to get them on this guy, make sure the other guy on second staying close. Talking about that, too, 9Ks today, you were finishing a lot of guys at the plate, but for around the uh, the infield, there's a lot of newer guys getting some valuable varsity starting time here. Talking about guys like Josh Lowe that made some pretty big plays at third. What can you say as being one of the uh, the senior leaders for this team about the play you saw around your infielders today? Oh, I mean, it was good. Like, they were on fire. Josh Lowe had a few good plays there. Uh, Mikey Sorrentino had a few balls. He didn't get too much tonight. I stole a few, actually, that were up the middle. Uh, Carson Fuller, a new new guy at second base, he was doing pretty good over there. He'll be a young guy that plays for us a lot probably. Um, and then uh, Brandon Stevenson over at first base, he was holding it down over there. He did pretty good. Talking about this too, this is a this is a team that has a I would say a good mix of of older guys to pair with the uh, the younger guys as well. Uh, what would you say uh, uh, yourself personally? I guess uh, you always kind of have led the team on the on field stats and, and doing things on the field. But what have you done as a leadership role and to do things more vocally this season to kind of take a take that next step in being one of the senior leaders and one of the captains for this team? I mean, they're just they're always listening to us. We're always helping them out when we're in the cages, and then when we go to team lifting. It's even better. We're helping them out because some of us have been there for four years lifting and and working hard, and it's finally paying off for us. What was the uh, the discussions with Coach Paris during the uh, the final stretches of that game? I know he came out a couple of times to talk. Oh, yeah. And what, what were those discussions like out there on the mound too? And what were what were the what was he kind of uh, just talking with you about, I guess? Well, some of it was just like situational, like figuring out what we're doing with the guy on second. A few of our calls behind the plate were getting mixed up a little bit. And then um, eventually he was like, all right, you got it. Like, let's go. Here we go. And then when I came off the field, I'd always talk about him, just talk to him. And he'd be like, what's working, what's not working. And we always figure it out that way. I want to just talk about it too. You being one of, like I said, the senior leaders for this team, reflect on your time being a Falcon with the school system, with the team, with the coaches, uh, shout out some of your supporters and just some big names that you want to, you want to thank in this program, uh, ahead of your, your last ride, I guess, with the, with the Falcons. Yeah. I mean, all the coaches from like freshman year, all the way up coach Drummond, coach Shepke, coach young Shepke too. Um, They've all been a lot of help, especially at the younger level with the younger guys. 
and keeping them consistent too, not just us. I think that's what helps a lot, like coming up through the years. And then um, Coach Paris and Coach Corbett and Puglis and Coach Rob, they're all helping us out every day, always there, work, letting us, uh, giving us new drills and stuff. And then after we're done at baseball practice, we head over to the weight room and we work our butts off. I mean, Coach Dan's been putting us through so much, and it's been awesome. It's really starting to pay off. We had a good off season of lifting. I mean, we've seen the results. Like we got guys hitting the ball out of the infield that really would like wouldn't be without uh, lifting. Talking about the off season work that you personally have put in, what are some things you wanted to really work and fine tune about yourself going into this uh, past off season? And I mean, only one start, obviously, but how have you seen it kind of play out on the mound? And what what are some things at the plate you're trying to fine tune? Um, definitely on the mound, like my speed, getting my fastball velo up there and my flexibility has been a lot too. Uh, I know coach young Chepke, he's been helping me out a lot with my, with getting down the mound and working down. That's been like his main thing that he's helped me out with a lot. And, um, with hitting wise, coach Corbett's been all over me, just translating what I do in the cage to the field, because sometimes I'll go out on the field and I'll just lose it all. It feels like it sometimes too with this sport. It's yeah. a, it's very easy to do. So final question for you, Jake, before we let you go, you guys get the, uh, the dramatic win, the walk off, uh, the walk off victory and a little bit drama at the end of this, but now you guys got to take this victory, enjoy it. You're one and oh on the season, but you welcome in a pretty talented Poland Bulldogs team now going into tomorrow. How do you guys kind of take this momentum and ride it into a, another victory at the, uh, at Richard L. Coppola field? I mean, we're all going to be fired up, coming out, ready to play. Uh, I think Joe's going to be back on the mound tomorrow. We'll see him out there, let him throw a little bit. Um, I know our hitting is going to be better. We just got to, once we start putting some runs up there, gaining some confidence at the plate, I really think we'll be good. Our defense has been solid, and I mean, I think they'll be solid again tomorrow. Get out to that ballpark. Five o'clock first pitch schedule. Joe Roth is scheduled to be on the mound tomorrow against the Poland Bulldogs. Well, by the time this airs, it would technically be today. Your player of the game, though, against Chagrin Falls and the Tigers, Jake Coral, with the seven inning pitched performance, nine Ks, four hits given up, no walks, and one run unearned. Jake, thank you so much for your time, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you again real soon. Thanks. Appreciate it.